from the non-conductive tool company. Six functions, two tools, total control. Introducing Volt Claw, a lightweight, time-saving hand tool designed to safely handle electrical wires. The Volt Claw is essential equipment for any electrician's tool belt. For safely reaching into junction boxes, switches, and breaker and service panels in any residential, commercial, or industrial wiring system, as is standard procedure before any job, make sure to turn off power at the breaker box and check the contacts with your voltage detector. The Volt Claw pulls wire, bends wire, loops wire, and reloads boxes with ease. Two tools, total control. With its lightweight ergonomic design, the Volt Claw is revolutionary in its design and simplicity. Whereas metal tools such as lineman pliers conduct electricity, and often destroy the wire insulation. The Volt Claw handles wire much better than conventional metal tools, built for ease and convenience. With two models to choose from, the Volt Claw 12 gauge expertly handles and manipulates 12 to 14 gauge wire, perfect for residential and light commercial applications. It's a non-conductive tool designed to pull, bend, loop. Loosen both winged wire nuts and ribbed wire nuts and easily load boxes with its innovative V-groove tip. The Volt Claw Multi-Gauge is the industrial model designed to handle 6 to 14 gauge wire. With an innovative hook, sliding thumb mechanism and grab claw, the Multi-Gauge Volt Claw is the perfect tool to pull wire from junction boxes and service panels. And combined with the 12 gauge Volt Claw, the two work side by side in a variety of applications. Both models are lightweight with an ergonomic design to bend, move, loop, twist, and release wire in four gang switch boxes, GFCI sockets, junction boxes, contactors, L junctions, light switches, smoke detectors, outlets, timers, and motion lights. No more fingers reaching into crowded electrical boxes. And no more working with conductive metal pliers. No more getting shocked. The world runs on electrical wires, and we make the tools to handle them safely. From the non-conductive tool company, Volt Claw, a tool every electrician should have. Go to VoltClaw.com for more information. Volt Claw. For 160 years, Klein Tools has been known for cutting. From our side cut pliers to our ratchet and cable cutters to our bolt cutters, Klein has been the expert and the leader in cutting. Now we have the same technology, knowledge, and experience available in battery operated tools. Quality, durable battery operated tools, all with the performance and reliability professionals expect from Klein. Klein Tools, for the professional lineman since 1857. Ripley's Utility Tool brand of products provides wire and cable preparation tools to splice and terminate cable for the power, transmission and distribution, electrical construction and maintenance industries. The WS68 Snap is a power-driven end stripper 
for the service entrance wire, THHN, XHHW, photovoltaic, and many other secondary cable constructions. The WS68 snap utilizes Ripley's 4x4 bushings. Bushings are matched to a particular cable based on its conductor size and insulation thickness. The sizing charts are provided in the Ripley tool catalog where a cable sample can be provided to the Ripley factory for sizing. The bushing can be removed from the tool and inserted into the WS68 snap to be power driven. Set the desired strip length quickly and easily by aligning the red band to the scale mark and tightening the screw. Assemble the bushing by pushing the quick release collar upward to easily disengage the internal lock pin. Insert the selected bushing into the tool with the bushing cross hole aligned with the lock pin. Release the collar to lock the bushing into the tool. Ensure the lock pin engages the cross hole in the bushing. Secure the tool into the drill. Ensure that the cable is as straight as possible and the tool is aligned properly with the cable access. Operate the drill at a slow speed. Apply gentle forward pressure. When the insulation chip breaks off at the end of the cut, stop the drill first and then remove the cable from the tool. The drill should be stopped when extracting the cable from the tool. The WS68 snap is sold with optional drive ends a 3 8 inch drill drive, a quarter inch hex drive, a 3 8 inch square socket drive, and a half inch square socket drive are all available. To change the drill drive, use a hex key to loosen the screw and pull the drive out. Replace with the desired drill drive. When inserting the new drive, ensure the indent on the drive aligns with the screw and use the hex key to tighten the screw and hold the drive in place. For more information about Utility Tool by Ripley, please visit our website at www.ripley-tools.com. The Jonard Industries UST-125 coax stripping tool is designed to strip RG-59, RG-6, RG-6 tri and quad, RG-7, and RG-11 coaxial cables for CATV and video applications. This smart, sleek, and versatile design makes prepping cables simple, quick, and affordable. This stripping tool also features a Velcro braid brush and a directional arrow that shows you which way to turn the tool. The UST-125 model uses the UST-225 blade cartridge for RG-59, RG-6, RG-7, and RG-11 coaxial cables and is capable of making over 5,000 cuts. To use the UST-125 coax stripping tool, first determine which size cable you are stripping and place the blade in the tool accordingly. Next, insert the cable into the tool up to the blade stop. After cable insertion, turn the tool three to five times around the cable until you no longer feel any resistance. Note the directional arrow on the tool indicates which way to turn the tool. Remove the tool and pull the strip jacket and shield away from the cable and use the braid brush to brush the braid down. The cable is now ready to be terminated. Okay, when using the speedy spark key to find positions on drywall, what you want to do is place it on the ground, find the desired height. You can then position the speedy spark key in relation to the position of the joists. That will then give you the ability to put in multiple sockets without shifting them too far apart. You're then going to draw around your multiple sockets. And then you can cut these out and you'll be ready to go. Job done. Thank you.